For this one, we're going to let u equal the inside part. So no, you might be thinking, well, don't I normally have to pick the higher power for u? Well, that's true, but that's if you have positive powers. In this case, you actually have x to the negative 3, and this is x to the negative 2. So actually, this one is the larger power when you look at it that way when you consider negative exponents. So first step, the u is going to be the inside function, and I'm gonna actually going to write it with a negative power like that to make it easier to take the derivative, which we're going to do here in step number two. Derivative of both sides, derivative of u is du on this side. Negative comes down, subtract one from the exponent, and you'll get negative three. Derivative of negative seven is zero. Don't forget that you have a dx in the end there. For step three, we need to solve for dx and substitute it back into our original one. So when we solve for this, we get dx is equal to du over negative 2x to negative 3. And if you don't want to deal with a negative exponent again, what you can always do with that is you can, um, you can move this up. So in this case, I have x to the third over 2, and then I have du on the end there, and then we have a negative out front. So this is how you can uh, rewrite that without the negative exponent. We're ready to put this back into our original one. I have 1 over x cubed on, over there, and then I have sine of, we put u in for all that, and then times negative x cubed over 2, and then du. By doing that, we can see that the x cubes are going to cancel, and I have a negative 1 half, which is going to go on the outside of my integral. Sine of u du, that's what I have left over. Now in step four, now I have all the x's are canceled out, I'm ready to integrate. Okay, so I'll take the antiderivative. Now I have negative one half, and then times when I integrate sine, I'm gonna get negative cosine. Negative cosine of u, and then don't forget the plus c in the end. This is gonna turn into a positive one half cosine, and then I'll just put the u back in, which I'll write it this way, one over x squared minus seven. And again, don't forget about the plus c in the end since it's an indefinite integral. Okay, this problem looks a little bit different than the ones we've done before. If you try and attempt to let u equal the, the bottom and take the derivative, you're not going to be able to cancel out the top. So this is actually a problem that uh, requires a little bit of a different approach, and this approach is going to involve inverse trig functions. So I'm, gonna, I'm going to rewrite this. I'm going to put the 4 on the outside. And then I'm going to put the dx here and down below. I'm going to write these as squares. So recall that if you have the, in, uh, the, the derivative of dx over a squared plus u squared, this is equal to 1 over a inverse tan of u over 1 plus c. So that was from a previous chapter. We talked about the inverse trig functions. So this is the actual formula that we're going to use. So it's a matter of recognizing what kind of format that you have right there. Now we still have to do our u. The u this time is going to be just the, the part that's being squared because now we're going to match the formula that we had before. So u is equal to 3x, derivative of both sides. Your du is equal to 3dx. And then step number three, you're going to solve for dx. So dx is du over 3. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put this into our formula. Okay, now when we do that, I have a uh, 4 right here. Let me write it up here. So I have 4. In this case, the dx is going to be a du over 3. Now, du over 3 is the same thing as a 1 third. 1 third times du. The 1 third I'm going to move on the outside. Now, since I have a 4 already on the outside, 4 times a 1 third is going to give you a 4 thirds there on the outside. Then I have du over uh, one, 1 squared plus u squared. And then now we have it matching up with this right here. Your a is going to be the 1. So I'm going to follow this particular formula in here. I have a 4 thirds, and then I'll apply the formula. I have a 1 over 1 here. The a is going to be your whatever number you have there. And then I have inverse tangent of u over a. That's going to be... Uh, in this case, the u that we have is 3x, so I'm going to put 3x there uh, over 1, and then plus c, 
And then from here, I can just simplify it. So this part right here is really my step number four. This is my integration part because I actually use the formula to integrate that. And my final answer is gonna be four thirds inverse tangent of three X plus C.